Hey, what's up guys? How's it going today? Got another shitty day over here, sadly. And I just woke up, going to do my fasting cardio. She's looking beautiful as always. So I'll talk to you guys after I'm done. But before that, let's just take a moment and appreciate. All right guys, just got done at the gym for the morning. And about eat my food here, check this out. Got that chicken and rice, but put some shit on there to make it fucking taste amazing. Just gonna have a bite to eat here at Canadian Tire right now. But we're sitting right here is this Ford. And for some reason, the owner or whatever just left it running. As you can see, there's running lights on. I guess maybe he wants somebody to steal it or something because as you can see, it's quite a piece of shit. So, <laughs> makes sense if that's what he wants. So walking, trying to find the paint section. And they don't even have it. I was trying to find some green plastic dip to paint a truck part, but that's the one color that they're out of. Color's kind of like that. I have some other parts of my truck already painted that color, but they're out of it. What the hell? See that noise right now, guys? That noise will be coming to an end very, very soon. You know why? A couple days ago, I finally bought a mic for this camera, and a really good mic, actually, like not just some cheap $30, $20 piece of shit. So this thing cost me 140 bucks. I'll put a little picture of it up on the screen right now. So the next video you're watching after this, I should have the mic in by then, and problem finally solved of the damn win. Right now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some food, some gains. There's a police right beside me right now. And ultimate douchebag parking is a check. Good to go. That's how we do. Oh, gotta be a good Samaritan. Don't wanna forget that, buddy. What the fuck is this fucking rice next to my truck over here? Rice? Basmati! Look, I'm eating. I can't even fucking vlog right now. So to anybody who's ever commented hating about my Tomiers, I just want to share with you. I'm actually sitting outside your guys' gym right now. I've got a couple more places to go before I get home, so... Yeah. See you guys at the next place. Yeah, uh, retard alert. Guy's blocking our goddamn traffic lane. Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> Hey man. hey man, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Here at the local supplement store. Just about to buy the best amino acids ever. This one right here. Hot off the market. So, what exactly is a BCAA? Well, branched chain amino acids are the three most crucial amino acids for the building of skeletal muscle. So oh. that's leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So basically they're taken before workouts and during workouts to help maintain muscle mass while cutting down or to help with muscle recovery or endurance. That was extremely detailed and now everyone on YouTube is now educated. Cool. Gorilla Jack Supplements. That's the local store that I shop at for my shit. They're fucking awesome. Those guys always hook it up and they know what the fuck they're talking about. Look at that beauty. God damn. Just look at her. We got a serious truck problem right now. We need gas. We're doing a fill from an eighth of a tank, so we're gonna see how much it costs us. My guess, since gas is about a dollar right now, is it's gonna cost like $85 from an eighth of a tank. Literally guess that shit perfectly. That's some fucking Dodge fam right there. Got the tow mirrors out. Hell yeah, buddy. But anyways, I'm gonna go home, cook all this fucking food I bought, and then go train legs, it's leg day today, and then I will catch you guys later when I'm with my buddy Daniel with his Cummins. So I got something to show you guys right now. So I live at this house right here, okay? Got that? Now fast forward a little bit. And right over here, we have a lifted Cummins, which is my buddy's truck. And this motherfucker lives so close to me, yet, it takes forever to get this guy to come mudding with me. All right, Dan, so tell me about your truck you got here a little bit. Well, it's a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500. Uh, it's got a six inch BDS lift with box shocks. Oh yeah. And, uh, a dirty diesel sticker. Yeah, look at that. And he's got that blacked out third brake light like I need to fucking get. 
God damn it, what kind of tires are those, bro? They're Cooper Discover STT Pros, 37s, on some fuel, nice fuel 17 inch rims. Fucking right, everybody's gonna enjoy that tire to rim ratio just like they do on mine. Aren't they like the exact same? Yeah, same <laughs> size tires, same size rims. And you're not gonna get hate for having your tow mirrors out because it's a diesel, unlike mine. <laughs> so at least there's that, bro. I was planning on putting them in just for your video. Fuck that, man. <laughs> Moose life. It's very nice, bro. Are you gonna get her muddy today? I think we're gonna get her a little muddy today. Yeah? Yeah. I've got a winch in my bumper, but the winch doesn't work, so <laughs> it looks for now. So if we really need to use that today, we're just fucked, right? Yeah, we're gonna just need some rope. All right, let's go find some mud. Start it up! Oh yeah, buddy. How embarrassing would it be to be that Ford right now? God damn, buddy. Like these trucks are awfully close to the same height, Dan. They are. I don't Except know. You've got what eight inches of lift? Yeah. <laughs> and yours is just a dirty fucking diesel, that's why. Yeah, so we bought this one from Saskatchewan actually and brought it over. And then we bought another one that had the lift, the two bumpers, and uh, a couple other smaller things in it already. So we just stripped that, put it into this thing, and made it look pretty again. So basically, you had a truck that had all the shit on it, and then this one had nothing on it? Yeah, it had absolutely nothing. It had a, a tune in it, which you guys saw in the last video when I pulled them two out, but the tuner was making the truck run like shit, so I took it out, <laughs> and I'm gonna buy a different one. So you can roll coal again like you used to? So I can roll coal again like I used to. Fuck yeah, man. It'll run better. So what color was the paint on this thing when you got it? It was, it was just black, regular black when we first got it. Yeah, you got the paint on here, and you got the bed line, right? Yeah, the bed line the bottom area there. Bed line, it looks awesome. Bed line the flares, and then did you do the bumpers too, or is that how they came? Uh, the bumpers, I just re-sprayed it with uh, matte black bumper paint. Oh yeah. And then I've got the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's an NFAB grill. So we basically just cut out the regular grill like Mitchell has and put in the NFAB one. And then I painted the grill black. The hoods, I'm pretty sure that's a factory Dodge hood. I like that hood, man. I want one like that, kind of. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we didn't paint the plastic piece in here. And most of them, most of the Dodge ones actually come, they're completely like closed up here, so it's not an actual intake. But I guess... The same just for show? Yeah, the same just for show. I <laughs> like they mostly are. You just basically buy the cutout that's actually has holes in it and throw it in there. Oh, yeah. But we didn't paint that because I thought it looked cool. Or you could get uh, one of those uh, tin foil tray things and then paint it and make it look like you have an aftermarket hood. Did you ever see that? No, man. Can I add that on here? <laughs> put it above, above it? Do it, man. I'll do it on mine, too. <laughs> uh, how much pound winch is in there, bro? Uh, I'm not even sure. I didn't. I haven't taken it out yet, but I gotta rip it out there. Clearly, it's enough because the guy had it before me. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be enough for a fucking big bitch like this, bro. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the front bumper, it's a Fab Force front bumper, and then I got I have the matching Fab Force rear bumper in the back too. And uh, so far, so good. All right. So also, I've got an entire five-inch Magnaflow exhaust from the front to the back. No cat, fucking cat. <laughs> not 100% sure if this truck came with a cat stock, but it's not there anymore. <laughs> He's got some pretty crazy engine mods, making this thing go like a thousand horsepower, I'm pretty sure. That's what he was telling me earlier. Yeah. I've got a horsepower limiter delete. Limiter delete? So it's got unlimited. Oh, is that, that's the one that makes a thousand? Yeah, man. What is that, bro? Is that like a triple turbo or something? <laughs> pretty close, it's actually a uh, air. <laughs> <laughs> it's your cold air intake that you've been needing to get for a couple years, Mitchell. Fuck. 
Yeah, so your air gets drawn from here on yours, and my air gets drawn from like right here on mine. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, when he was trying to pull us out, his RPMs were doing some weird ass shit afterwards. Yeah, it wasn't getting enough oxygen. Still gotta clean this one, because it's still a little dirty. Just not as dirty as the other one. It's a dirty diesel, bro, what do you expect? Exactly. Now that right there is the fucking real deal for drop pitches. Holy shit. It's adjustable, baby. God damn, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. How much did you say that thing cost? 380 Canadian. 380 bucks Canadian. You should roll with that thing in, even though it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? All right, guys, back home now. And with it raining for the second day in a row now, we were thinking, like, definitely there was going to be some mud and water on that trail, but it was completely dry, so kind of sucked, but it is what it is, right? Soon enough, we'll get a crazy mudding video together. I've been gathering up new spots to go to, so once the weather's right and everything, we're good to go, and we got some fun spots to check out. I make some awesome videos for you guys at, so me, Danny with his Cummins, and Brayden will all get together and we'll hit some mud with all the rams all at once. It's time for the weekly shoutouts right now. So you guys absolutely killed it. I got another like 25 people that sent in uh, pictures of the trucks and stuff since the last video was posted. So I'm going to pick three people today to do a shoutout for. So the first shoutout goes to Blue Waffle 5.9. <laughs> So he's got a year 2000 Dodge Ram Sport and it's, a, it's got a 6 inch lift and he's on 37 inch tires but these are some fucking fat ass 37s, they're 15.5 wide and the tires are Mickey Thompson Baja MTZs and turns out he calls his truck Blue Waffle because after he bought his truck the first picture he took of it on the trailer was at a Waffle House so get your mind out of the gutter you guys, Jesus Christ. A very nice truck, I love how it looks, love the build. Right on, buddy. And the second shout out goes to a guy named Muzzle Flash Matt 556. It's a pretty fucking gay name if you ask me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Matt has a 99 Chevy C3500 and it's got a 6.5 turbo diesel in it, but he has an HX35 Cummins turbo in it. Hell yeah, because Cummins is the fucking best shit. And he's got a Heath Performance tune with a four inch turbo back exhaust. And this guy's got some sick ass color changing gauges on the side. And he's got a three inch lift on this thing. And this work truck has made quite a nice transformation, I would say. So, shout out to you, buddy. And for the third shout out, I'm literally just gonna scroll my phone and click on one randomly. I'm not even gonna choose them at all. All right, so here we go. All right, so. The one that I chose, his name is Jesse K.I.E. And looks like he's a motherfucking Dodge fam, just like the first guy was. He drives a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500, just like me. And he actually sent in another vehicle, which is a 1953 Willys Jeep, which is badass. And looks like he's got some mud on his truck, so hats off to that. The only thing he needs to get now is a pair of tow mirrors on there, and you'll be set, bro. Okay, I just have to do one last shout out because this guy's truck is actually just fucking right sick. So this guy's got a 2008 F250 and he's got a 10 inch lift on 37s. Single cab, this thing looks tall as hell. So he's got 12 inch wide rims on those 37s, which looks absolutely sick. Very nice stance. This thing's super sick and you guys just had to see it. I just couldn't leave it out, so. All right, that's all the shout outs for this week. Did four. So once again, if you guys want a chance to have a shout out for next week, what you gotta do is follow me on Instagram and then personal message me a picture of your truck. And a brief description of what you've done to it for mods and all that shit, so. Anybody can be chosen, there's a chance for everybody, so if you're interested, go send your pictures to me. So hopefully next week I'll finally have some good weather to make a fucking sweet video for you guys and do a couple things that I've had planned but haven't been able to do because the weather so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are all awesome and the best. And until the next one, everybody have a great week, and I'll see you guys later.